Hi guys, uh, first sorry for the framing of the video on the light. Uh, the thing is too big for using the wide zoom of the wide angle of the camera and for using my regular uh, bench lights. So today I will try to clean uh, the emo blood or hematology analyzer I got from eBay, the Neon Coden. So for this purpose I did hook on the right here, you can see this bottle, it is full of bleach, almost pure bleach, and it is hooked with little pipes to waste on the detergent ports. In case the machine wants to suck something through this pipe here on the front, which I suspect is the blood sample inlet, I did prepare a bottle of beer with water, and if needed I will put bleach also in it if I uh, get it to suck through this pipe but for now uh, power on it is doing uh, lifting the pipes and actually you have two of them in here I did already have a little view, quick look inside the machine as you can expect it is pretty much full oh. We have bubbles on the side, I'm not sure if you will see. Here, we have some bubbling action in the, bo in the bottle. Not sure if it is sucking anything for now. The thing is really full of pumps. So, can so I did not connect the lysing because uh, it is a different type of hook and uh, I haven't got it up. Oh, it is loading, it is loading diluent. So I prepare the bottle here at the bottom in case of. What is it doing? Yes, it did load the diluent and in fact the two I did connect the two pipes to, to the same here diluent and detergent Checking detergent Did you see correctly on the screen? Sorry for the framing, but the thing is really big. I try to get it aligned like so. Priming. Since it did load the fluid from both pipes, I get the bottle ready here at the bottom in case it is uh, ejecting some fluid. That does not seem so, so far. At least it seems more happy than the first uh, power on. So I have no clue of what is the lysing agent, so I will not be able to analyze a sample of blood, I believe. The pipe is coming down. So we have a prime error again, WBC and RBC, and of course no lysing reagent. So uh, what to do, enter ID, I guess it is for the patient ID, ok, uh, settings. Set on time display, print settings. Not what I want, I want the cleaning functions. Transfer day, prime, drain bath, drain all. So I think drain wave will push out the fluids of, out of the pipes, which I do not want. I want to clean the thing. And I do not find the cleaning menu anymore. Maybe it is this, in fact. Settings. Oh, okay. 
The user interface is quite quick. Prime, you need to click. Aspirate. Oh, what does it say? Maybe it wants to aspirate for this pipe. But for this, I need to be able to check with a bottle full of water. So I will be right back. Let's do it again. I think that this pipe is responsible for sucking the load. So I do not want to aspirate because he did already do it. So dispensing. Yes, some bubble action in the bottle. And in fact, he did. Uh, yes, he did suck a little bit of water so it is okay okay next uh, now I want to check the cleaning maybe it is this counting so what it will do oh. this little uh, pipe here is just uh, coming up and down Ah, there is action coming on the right side, as you can see, it is, yes. So it must be the clean uh, procedure I am doing now, and it looks like here we have an indicator, progress indicator. I will relocate the camera for you on the side. A lot of uh, piping, sucking and blowing action. So I need to find an adapter to for the inlet here on the side if I want to uh, make it believe there is a the lies agent. It is this one here. So I need to find something to hook on it. So it is still doing his stuff. More sucking of uh, blitz. No, no, it is uh, pushing out only the liquid. It is a quite slow process, actually. Mm. More of it. I guess you cannot do anything else. But at least we know the pumps are working. No, no, working very well. Oh, we have lots of stuff on the screen. With still the same errors. It is counting bubbles. And of course, all the analysis uh, results here are at zero. We have no lysing reagent, and the, the curves here at, uh, are empty, but at least it did do something. So let's try the other. I did put the beer bottle, and let's try. I will try not to break my. Camera tripod for now. Let's try the other stuff. In fact, it is on my bench, and as you can see, a little bit too high. So I will try the button here. Counting again. Let's 
since it is all again doing stuff down here. So actually it may be doing analysis an analysis cycle. So I need to retrieve some blood sample from a piece of meat or anything and try to make it count. It will be interesting. And it did increase the number here, it is a uh, uh, test number 2. So all the science must be happening inside, I guess. There are still two other buttons I did not try. Sorry, it may not be the most fascinating video for now. It did uh, drain, yes, it is raining now, the feeds. So maybe there is automatically a cleaning process at the end of the uh, analysis in order to be ready for the next sample. At least it will be well clean inside all the pipes and again we have our analysis results so not sure about those uh, prime errors I guess it is because we haven't got the reagent so I need to find a, a way to hook something but apart from this this must be the doing something else in fact it looks like the two buttons here and here will do the same thing and they are starting a cycle of test now it is uh, again draining a lot of fluid I did not, did not try the printer yet. I will try to prepare it in the meantime. In order to see if we can print the results of this test. I will relocate you on the screen. There is a push button here at the back. Not sure what it is for, but there is a, some push button to detect the presence of a sample uh, holder or something like so. So let me check if I can, meanwhile, find some way to hook. I need uh, some piece. Some threaded uh, adapter in here. So I have probably somewhere something that will fit, but it is not uh, handy by now, so. Ok, so we have our analysis results and we have our errors of course which I believe are all related so when I will hook this uh, fluid maybe this will disappear, we will see in another video uh, What to do? Can I try to print the results? Seems the printer is not doing anything Ah, no, it is printing it is printing very slowly. 
on thermal paper. In fact, what we have on the screen. Which is not that interesting, but at least it did print. Okay. So, uh, to finish this video, I guess we will have a look in the other menus of the machine really quickly. Uh, calibration data, edit ID. So, calibration. Uh, interesting. More interesting. Ok, data, it is the results from the, oh it is interesting, look at this, we have the results of the other two, three cycles I did do, but look at, look at this on the left, what we have, this may, might be the results of an actual blood test. And we are at num page number 100 on 100. And here we have information. It did uh, keep all this information all that long. Uh, let's print this. Really not the fastest printer I uh, ever seen. It is quite uh, amazing to have uh, actual results still stored in the machine. And the test was made on the 22 January 1913. Uh, excuse me, 2013. It is written here on the top. Here. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Back. And we have a number of other results in memory. This is pretty interesting. They did never erase any res uh, analysis number. Okay. Very, very interesting. I have no clue of what all this is all about. So, what do we have? QC. Oh, more. Count hematology control twice. Okay. More data. Completely meaningless for me. If we have any uh, doctor or uh, blood scientist in the audience, maybe. So we have a calibration history we did already check earlier when opening the parcel. We have a circuit check. Oh, it is doing some uh, self uh, test, it seems. And says it is okay for most of the stuff. Interesting. So what next? We have transfer day. Uh, we have uh, statistics of uh, number of tests which were made each day. We have. Uh, Maintenance before draining, measurement, prime clean on off. Okay, so it must be for activating the pumps and so on when do you are doing your maintenance procedure. It did already, already go there. Over prime clean, okay. Uh, display. Uh, you can activate uh, more options. 
let's activate this this I have no clue ok uh, on other settings continuous count ok you need check you did already do this this some information again ok sim citizen was all what happens if we do initialize well then we maybe we not do this because I do not want to lose all the data stored inside we have um, Uh, statistics about electrodes, about uh, LEDs, about uh, manometers, maybe. Very nice. Sensor monitor, okay. We can do uh, print settings. Ah, yes, you can uh, set. In fact, what, what you will uh, print on the results. So let's activate everything. Okay, I have a big roll of paper anyway inside. Okay, so very, very interesting. Yeah, so if seems uh, your test will actually be started with the front panel buttons. So we will drain all, remove detergent tube from detergent and insert it in waste container. It is already done. Disconnect diluent and hemolysis reagent tube from inlet. It is already done. Do not disconnect tube from waste outlet. It is uh, of course and OK. It is priming for some reason. And it is draining all the pipes, which is good, I guess, if I want to take it apart. At least it means it will be uh, already pretty well uh, cleaned. And the video is already 23 minutes long. So I am not sure about the weight. Uh, the information I found of the web was 18 kilos, but maybe it is more. I will try to weight it. It must be, uh, I think it is 25 or something like this. It is really, really, really heavy. More uh, pipe action happening here on the right. Oops. It is quite fun, it is doing priming after uh, when I did ask for drain, but maybe it is measuring if it has uh, tweeds everywhere it needs. And more of the same stuff. Okay, so I think I will conclude here this video for today. Thanks for watching, bye bye.